Aquarius. Okay, so I attempted to do your six month tarot card reading. Um, I thought the camera was rolling. It was not. Okay, so I do have the cards pulled. All right. Uh, I'm going to stick with it. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. If you want to get your own six-month tarot card reader, I mean reading. Um, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so in Janu January, we have the Six of Pentacles. In February, we have Eight of Cups. In March, we have the Moon. In April, we have Six of Wands. In May, we have the Hermit. In, in June, we have the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so Aquarius, it looks like... Um, all right, so it looks like we're dealing with some very uh, funky energy. Hang on, I'm trying to get this to focus. All right, let's see. There we go. That'd be better. Okay, so in January, we had a Six of Pentacles. So like equal give and take, um, you know, um, Somebody's receiving and then somebody's giving. So it, it feels good. Somebody's on the receiving end. The other person is giving. Um, maybe the power dynamic has shifted. Maybe somebody was always the giver and someone was always the receiver. Now that has shifted. So it's making an energy where you feel good, especially if this is people related or a relationship. Um, it just seems as if now um, things are kind of back to balance or or better balance or or a better in a better balance in terms of, um, you know, a uh, giver, taker, receiver. It's a time to give and it's a time to take. And maybe you're on the receiving end, Aquarius, especially if you were um, the giver all the time. Um, also, money could be coming in for you. It could be charity. You could be doing charity work. I'm hearing that, uh, like, this could be loans. This could be even grants here because it could, uh, something about, no repayment or not having to repay or free money uh, with the six of pentacles here. Something that comes in and kind of offers a, a level of balance um, where, you know, uh, you can kind of keep things in check here. The eight of cups in February. So it seems as if in January things got to a better place of so balance. And then the eight of cups in uh, January things started to get close or intimate or if somebody f is feeling like they need to walk away someone is feeling like I gave too much and now I need to maybe withdraw I need to take my power back it's funny because both of these cards talk about power power dynamic this talks about feeling powerless therefore you need to go take your power back so it's like maybe someone feels as if I gave a lot I'm giving a lot I'm giving and I'm not getting what I feel like I should be getting in return, reciprocation, or not enough reciprocation here. Uh, in the Eight of Cups, it's like a tough emotional decision to kind of like finish something up and then walk away. Now, this could be walking away from a job, a relationship, um, maybe even a business or a business idea. Something where you, you did some self-analysis here in the Eight of Cups and you felt like, okay, I'm never going to get to the Ten of Cups here. I'm never going to get to a place of actually um, having true happiness, uh, the highest level of happiness here. Uh, I am discontent. I am bored. I am dissatisfied with what I am getting uh, in terms of what I have been putting out. Something is not working. Therefore, I'm feeling powerless. So someone feels like I need to take my power back, walk the other way. I need to just walk away. Um, in March, the moon card, but it's still a very strong tie connection. There could even be vivid dreams or astral projection or um, somebody's, if you're feminine energy, your, your menstrual cycle could be kind of um, tied in with the moon cycles also. You can get your cycles around the new moon, full moon, different moon cycles here. Um, also, you and someone are very different, but you're trying to, you know, come together to see that that same outcome. Whether the outcome is getting married and moving into a home and, you know, 
just running off into the sunset or just being together. But you see, you see the world differently. Therefore there's conflict. There is, um, friction. There's also two people or just one person lying to themselves about exactly how they feel about the other person. There's a suppression of emotions also in the moon card. There's something that somebody does at night, whether it is heav heavily thinking or dreaming about the other person or, okay, even masturbation or something of that nature, um, something emotional, an, an emotional release. It could even be crying j just because of failure to release because there is suppression. When two people in the moon car come together, they, they make each other uncomfortable because they see the world differently. Maybe somebody sees the world through, you know, the eyes of emotions and the other person is all about thoughts and, and therefore we have a disconnect. In April, we have the six of wands. So um, somebody feels like it's just best to um, make a choice to Somebody's feels going to be the victor because they decide not to fight. They choose to walk the other direction, strutting their stuff, winning by, by not engaging. Maybe in a cheating type situation or some cheating scandal or pride comes before the fall or somebody felt like they were just, you know, above, Above reproach or above saying I'm sorry, above making amends, above accountability. So then we have the Hermit card in May. All right, so it looks like, yeah, there is a, a, a time apart, set apart to where you are now coming to a place of maybe having a change of personality, a change of approach, maybe even learning something about yourself, self-discovery. On this journey, I am looking at past experience. Therefore, I can operate differently moving forward. I'm learning about me, self-discovery here. I need to take some time to be away from relationships, people, relationships, the world all together. So I can figure out where I belong in this. A change in, in personality. So it's not even just perspective. It's just it's personality. That's pretty big. So it's like you're learning something about you. Um, maybe even your personal philosophy, what hasn't been working for you, maybe what has been working for you, but definitely what hasn't been working for you in terms of um, getting better outcomes, whatever your outcome is, whether it is to run off into the sunset with your soulmate, have 2.5 children, you know, the home, the, the dog, all of that, or travel, I don't know, whatever your outcome is, you, you're trying to figure out why you're not getting there or you're not getting there completely or it's taking too long, or you you feel like you're in some never-ending cycle in the Eight of Cups. The Hermit card says that you're looking for answers, or you were, I hope that you were, but you're looking for answers outside of yourself, but you already know what the answer is. The common denominator is you. The common denominator in every relationship, family, platonic, romantic, is you. So, um, yeah. The Five of Pentacles in, what is this, June... Um, interesting energy. So a place of lack, lack mentality, lack of thinking something is going to move forward. Um, resting in a place of lack, don't stay there too long. This is supposed to be temporary, but there's a story behind this. The Greek goddess, uh, Penia, the, the, the goddess of poverty. She goes around knocking on each of the villagers doors. And if anyone lets her in, you know, um, they have a hard time getting her out. So, um, you know, the story is there. Don't let poverty rest with you too long. You know, um, understand that's supposed to be temporary. You know, money is energy. If you need more money, what do you do to get money? Most of us, we work. We do some type of work, right? So if you need more money, you need to do more work, right? Find work in anything, Find what's working for you. So, um, if that's a money issue, and now if that is a relationship issue, if something is not working and you've been in it for too long, or, or you've stayed in that energy, sometimes the Five of Pentacles comes up when you stay in the energy of, of being separated, you know, ignored or ignoring 
or not acknowledging your partner too long to the point where somebody feels like, I don't even think we could come out of this. And that's that, that's that poverty mindset. I don't even think we can come out of this. We've been here too long. We've been in this impoverished state in our relationship too long. So let's start to clarify here. We have the devil at the bottom of the deck, which is alarming. Um, uh, let's keep going. Six of pentacles uh, for January, for your birthday month, for some of you. Um, six of pentacles. Okay. Um, so we have the king of wands and we have the three of wands. All right. So... Um, something that you you did or yeah something you did is coming back to you you know some seeds you planted some work you've done that maybe you're getting paid for it repaid for it or you've done something and now it's returning to you especially if you're an entrepreneur if you're you, if you're self-employed there could be some unexpected money with the king of wands here maybe a lucky win or a, 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 a windfall um, some unexpected money, unexpected income. I, I was getting with the six of pentacles, like it's money you don't have to pay back or it, you know, it's no strings attached in terms of, it's not like a loan or anything. Um, you could be waiting for a loan, but for some of you, this is just money where it, it's yours. You know, no strings attached here. The King of Wands says that uh, maybe your business could be turning around uh, if you're in business for yourself very quickly, Okay. Um, profitability. Some of you do work from home because the King of Wands talks about being tied to the home. Um, interesting. Okay. So whatever you're doing, some of you, you send things out, you're waiting for it to come back or you send something out or you're waiting for it to come back. You're waiting for a package or you send packages out. Uh, commerce, e-commerce here in the Three of Wands. Something you're doing is just, you're finding balance in it. Very good. Um, so that could be all about, uh, money there, M money relations, the King of Wands and the Three of Wands. There could be some communication that you have with someone from afar or someone who you have an energetic distance with. Like you guys have not been in communication in contact in close proximity. Um, and now you're having communication with this person here. Um, they're desiring to talk to you, to communicate with you, maybe bring in a level of, um, you know, balance here with the six of pentacles, maybe even showing you how much they like you, love you, care for you by way of um, monetary expression, giving you money, buying you something, taking you somewhere. Let's see what the eight of cups is. The eight of cups in February. What's the eight of cups in February? The ten of swords. Yeah, so unexpected. Unexpected, out of the blue, walking away from um, disappointment, collapse, breakdown, this some bullshit here, okay? Because it's like, this is how I was reading it when I said I tried to do the reading and then the camera wasn't on. But I'm not going to go into the last reading, but it seems like I'm going to get the same bullshit story. Um, especially if you and someone else, you know, come back together. Here is the same old cycle of um, being blindsided by this person, maybe walking away when things get a little too close, intimate, vulnerable, transparent. This person kinds of, kinds of, um, how they keep their power, how they don't give you maybe the upper hand or give you the validation of the fact that they love you or like you is by walking away, withdrawing, maybe abandoning you in the eight of cups with the ten of swords. That's some bullshit. This this some I this is absolutely asinine. Um the moon card in March. The, okay. Um yeah, justice here. So it's like um karma karma to cause and effect. <laughs> it's not a lot of money, so, <laughs> but it does help the channel okay. and it's a really good reading. So head on over to the website. Uh, purchase the uh, full reading. Thank you again. Take care. Happy holidays and happy 